It's not the airlines that are raising fees, but instead the September 11th security fee will jump by more than 100% starting on Monday. There were likes and comments. I want to high five you. Uh. National. Good move. Good for you, Steve. <laughs> Even international exposure. The moment I confronted the woman accused of stealing my credit card number was viewed more than a million times. A situation so sweet, it was even picked up by our competition. I was an identity thief. But here's what we never saw coming. I'd say that's pretty good. Next, carve out a completely custom wound for less than you'd spend at the store. Put clear glue in a cup and microwave it for just a few seconds. And they're low maintenance and it'll save you money because they never have to be dry cleaned or ironed. So many gifts in so many categories that this year's Fox Holiday Gift Guide is a two screen experience here on TV and of course our full online shopping guide. We fell in love with these worry eaters. They encourage children to write down their worries then slip them in the zipped pocket so the doll holds on to them and your kid doesn't have to. You have no idea how to get in touch with your own corporate office? I don't give a who y'all are. Y'all need to get up out of here. Not the response you want from a company you trusted to do your taxes. And in the case of this car, it's one that's been sitting pretty neglected. Thousands of you responded to pictures I posted of this filthy, awful interior, including Plano based rug doctor who saw those soiled seats as an opportunity to prove that their product really works. So you contact the company, you dispute the charges, you close the card and that's it. But in this case, the woman actually used my card to check into a local hotel. So after I hung up at the credit card company, I called the hotel and I said, hey, listen, has anybody checked in using my identity? Because at that point I thought she was using the whole thing, right? Uh, they said, no, she didn't. I said, do me a favor, run my credit card number against any recent transactions and let me know if anybody's using it to pay a bill. They looked it up and sure enough, someone had checked in a couple hours before. He gave me the name, the room number. I said, keep quiet, I'm calling the cops. And I think that that's why this story has resonated with so many people, because the first half of the story is true for all of us. But the second half, the half that we got to show folks is that moment that nobody ever gets that moment to be able to track somebody down and look them in the eye and say, why did you do this and how did you do it? And that is a moment that we got to deliver on behalf of consumers everywhere. Take a look. You picked the wrong guy. If you've ever felt ticked off, I didn't pick you, huh? ripped off, yeah. who did or feared fraud, this is your moment. Who picked me, Farah? A face-to-face -face encounter with the person accused of stealing your credit card information. Are you Farah? This is Farah Parks, and she's accused of stealing mine. Credit card numbers get stolen many different ways. How did the cops know? I tipped them off. Thanks to a fraud alert I placed on my account, I got this notice that someone may be trying to use my visa card to pay for a room at the Hilton Garden Inn in Richardson. Fortunately, the people that use your credit card, they stayed at the hotel. And that chance to track them down is what prompted me to investigate. After I contacted Visa, I called the Hilton, explained the situation and asked if anyone had checked in using my name. The clerk said no. So I asked him to run my credit card number against any recent payments. Bingo, someone had checked in to room 239, Farrah Parks. At check-in, she presented a card with her name on it. When the magnetic strip wouldn't swipe, the account number was entered manually. Turns out that account number was my account number. It takes a special kind of person to actually manufacture a credit card. You have to have special equipment for that. It's all spelled out in this police report. I called the cops, sent them to her room. We were able to go there. The people were still at the hotel. And headed to the hotel. I'm going to skip out. Steve, nice to see nice you. What's to meet going you. on? To try and meet her. I would love to be able to chat with these folks. Is that possible? Probably not at this time. While I couldn't get permission for police to facilitate a meeting, this was all happening in a public space. So armed with my iPhone and that room number, 239, I went upstairs and waited for Farah to come to me. Do you use my credit card to check into your room? Your credit card? Are you Farah? Um, I am Farah, but I do not use a credit card. I use a card with my name on it. How did you pay to get into the room? I'm not gonna... Can you help other consumers by letting us know how you did this? Did you use it online? I actually got it from Where'd you get it? I'm not gonna talk about I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you can help me to protect other people from this happening to them too. 
We got a quick ride down, Fair. I'd love your help. I've got charges with your name on it for your room okay, for three days. I'd love for you to be able to help me, Farah. Where are you from? Are you local? Okay, I appreciate your apology, and I'm just hoping you might be able to help me. I'm going to come and make a request to visit you after you get arrested, and we can talk, okay? Farrah declined my request for that jailhouse interview. I was hoping she might shed some light on what made me, a guy who makes a living protecting consumers, a good mark. And how did she get my number? Anybody can be the victim of identity theft or credit card abuse. I mean, we've had employees here at the police department that have become victims. The fact is, we're all targets. As long as we use credit, we can only minimize risk. ID theft can happen at any time. But the chance to meet the person who's gained access to your account, that, you pick the wrong guy, comes only once. The Red Tag Sales event is on. The Mega Red Tag Sale. It's a color that usually signals savings. Take 20% off. The red tag means retailers are ready to deal with deep discounts and special offers. Do not miss the Red Tag Sales event. In fact, we're so conditioned to think so that just seeing red... Which one of these price tags do you think is going to indicate a discounted price? Which tag means savings? The red one. Oh, uh, red. The red one. Makes us believe we'll save green. I expect it to be on sale. Meet bargain hunter Tony White. I try to find all the deals. Her search usually leads her here to the clearance aisle at her local Walmart, where the red tags are clear, but the discount is not. They are actually selling items on their clearance aisle for regular price. How does she know? It's right on the price tag. We randomly selected 13 red tagged items from the clearance section at the Walmart Tony shops in Flower Mound. In three cases, we saved almost six bucks on gas X, another 440 between these two boxes of breakfast bars. But every other item we bought, despite the red tag, offered no savings at all. Irish Spring Body Wash, clearance aisle, red tag price, 397 the same as the regular retail price marked by a yellow tag in the main part of the store. Five hour energy shots, red tag price, $2.68. The same as the current regular price on display. Allergy medicine, protein snacks, and not one, but every variety of baby food we selected all had a red tagged price identical to the full retail price for the same product currently available and currently on display on the store's regular retail shelves. Each of those tiny red tags that we found in the clearance aisle didn't save us a single cent. I think when you see a red sign that says clearance that those items are at a deep discount. But they're not, and a company spokesperson says there's a good reason why. Despite what you might be conditioned to believe at other stores, here at Walmart, red tags are not always used to communicate clearance or a discount. I still think it's deceptive. Tony says, sorry, Walmart, that doesn't seem right, especially since those red tagged items are grouped with clearance inventory, which is marked down. So what's the red tag for? Despite what we just showed you, we're told by Walmart a red tag is used for items which are just not part of a current selling display. I think Walmart should step up and do the right thing and discount, actually discount these items if, uh, or put them back on the shelves where they should be. We suggested the same and were assured by Walmart that they are working to communicate with their store staff. Exactly what they'll say, we have no idea. But we do know this, when it comes to red tag savings, the red tag sale, you might want to check out someplace else. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. So when does a red tag mean markdown? When it features a former selling price and a current cheaper selling price. Take a look side by side, two red tags on the same shelf. That little detail makes a very big difference. With every click of her camera or swipe of her screen. I bought this handbag. It's brand new. Tanya Foster is cleaning out. And look what I found in my garage. My son used to fish. And hoping to cash in. 
This is just taking up space. After dozens of donations to charity, this lifestyle blogger is starting the new year. This is 120 pulls. With a new project. I am an empty nester at this point, too, in college. I kind of have like a lot of stuff that I'm, you know, kind of willing to part with. A whole home clean out. And this time, she's doing it digitally. Think of it as Instagram meets Craigslist. Mark Brinkerhoff is with Five Miles, the smartphone app designed for community commerce. You're actually buying and selling from neighbors. While you can expand your search field, Five Miles may be all you need. Just snap and post your pictures. It's free with no transaction fees. You can do the brand there too. Leave lots of details to minimize questions and start selling. Tanya did and... I did great. I sold a lot of stuff. I made $165 in cash. Two weeks later, had more cash and less clutter. Amazingly to me, the fishing rod was the first thing that went. She says, be flexible. It's a kind of a bartering system. So if I had something listed for $50, someone would ping me, leave me a comment and say, hey, I would like your item for $40. List low. I got rid of it quickly. I got great money. I got cash in hand. And be detailed. So for example, if you have a handbag, go ahead and measure the handbag and say it's 12 inches tall by 11 inches wide. It's leather, it's suede, it's a great olive color, perfect for fall. Even if something doesn't sell. Surprisingly, the sunglasses didn't sell. I still have them listed. You may rediscover why you fell in love. I pulled them back out and I started wearing them. In the first place.